We're at the World of Concrete for 2024, and we're in the DeWalt booth with what I think is some of the most exciting new offerings in the tool industry. We have two special guests that are going to go over all of it with us. You've seen them both on the channel before, and I'm excited to have them both here. Ricky. Yes. Vince. It is great to be here with you. Oh, it's good to have you here, buddy. Power shift. I'm super excited about it. 550 watt hour battery here. I feel it. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. It, yeah, it's why. It's 11 and a half pounds, pouch cell technology. Oh, yeah, he's giving us the goods. I love it. Yeah, all right. so really slick setup here with this. I mean, it's all about power, ergonomics, and runtime. Yeah. If you can't deliver on that, I don't think you have a good electrified system. Look at the size yeah. of, those, of those connections in it all up. Uh, this battery, right? 5,000 thermally stable watts coming out of this thing, man. That's like the equivalent of a 6.5 horsepower gas engine. So like, if you think about the places we'll go and the things we'll power, like let your mind go wild. You know, it's funny. So I saw some press materials and, and none of it actually, it talked about like watts and all, but not, none of it talked about horsepower. Yeah. And I think when, when we get into small equipment like this, yeah. for apples to apples, it makes sense to talk in those terms, no? Yeah, exactly. So you got a lot of energy. Yes. Now you got to put it back in. You got to charge it. Yes. So this is our brand new charger. Yo, here's, look here's, at the size yeah. of that. Yeah, big charger. Yo, it's like a bus bar <laughs> yeah. on, a, on a, an electrical, like a huge electrical panel. It's big. It is. And so... We can charge this half a kilowatt battery pack yes. in under an hour. That's that's really that, awesome. This is our standard charger. You don't have to like go buy a special one. Like, dude, day one. You said this is a standard. Is yeah. there a plan for a rapid charger? Let's see what the future holds. I, Vince, I like you know? it. I like it. But this is what we'll launch with. Okay. Here's the other big thing. We know that site power can be really tricky sometimes. Sure. But you know, if you're going to electrify, you also need to recharge. Yes. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, totally. You can put two of these on a single 15 amp circuit. And not blow it. And not trip it. That's right. So this will also connect to our tough system. So right on our rolling box, that half box. I like that. So you can store your packs inside the rolling box. You can put two chargers on the top. Right, you can go out to the job wherever you are, keep your pack safe. If you want to have a stationary uh, mount, you'll notice that we've got holes so that way you can either mount it against a wall yeah. or you can mount it flat. Let's keep moving. Yes, sir. I'll trade you. And so, you know. I, I'm going to just, <laughs> spoiler alert, blur. this is when I, when I saw that this was part of the system. Yeah. I, I really thought to myself, they really, you know, the Walt has its users in mind. Yeah, backwards compatibility has always been at the forefront of our mind. When we launched, you know, our 20 volt max system, we had an 18 volt to 20 volt max adapter. Yep. When we did flex volt, you yep. could go between 20 volt and 60 volt power tools. And now with power shifts, you have the ability to bridge between. This is great. The connection is robust. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so you have the ability now. And our users look at this like it's a get out of jail free card. We could use this to extend the runtime. We can't use it to power this equipment, but it will extend the runtime. Is that correct? Yeah, so it'll give you, you know, depending on the product, another 10 or 15 minutes of runtime. But that is, awesome. is additional time to, to get the job complete. It's also, if you're leveraging these multiples, it might be one or two packs that you don't need to buy a power shift and it's saving you money. I, I like it. I think it's thoughtful. It's our 132 pound rammer and you can compact up to 18 inches of soil with this thing. Okay. It, it's unbelievably powerful. We put up a sealed brushless motor on it. Okay. All right. I mean, I, I'll tell you on Tuesday morning, it was, it was, it was wet out here. Sure. We were the only ones out here running and making noise. We were working <laughs> through it, you know? Yeah. The other big thing is when we look at this, we did a patented soft start. If you ever okay. run a gas, one of these things, you get it going, it's kind of, it kind of can get like a buck and bronco. Sure. This thing is so smooth. It starts up so easy. I mean, you have like the most control with our rammer. The other big thing that we did is all of the controls between the rammers and the plate compactors 
all function the same. As far as serviceability, let's yeah. just say something happens. Sure. Which this thing has got a nice roll cage here. I don't. I can't imagine. Yeah. Like, but just say on the off chance, switching was damaged. Sure. What, what do we do? We bring it into a local. Yeah, just go into the local DeWalt service center, and they'll be able to fix it right up. I mean, that's, that's the awesome. beauty of it, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. This is great. We doing a demo. We doing a demo. Yeah, yeah. Demo? You, you you run it. I know how it works. Thank you very much. We care about you here, Vince. We love you. R Ricky wanted to put these in before the interview started. He said, "That's what he said." <laughs> so it's an in. Okay. In and down. Oh, in and down here. Yep. Okay. I'll fire it up real quick to show Beautiful. you, and then you're on. You're off to the races. Thank you. High and a low. Okay. So in. Oh wow! Nice. Oh, it stopped. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. Really clean, really simple, yeah. not complex, yeah. which well, is fine. Good. I'm like a caveman, that's good. tunes and the power is being transmitted into what I'm working on instead of the person working on it. Yeah, you, it you means, gotta take care of your body, yes. you gotta keep your hands working, that's how you make money, you gotta stay in the trades a while. Well thank you for you saying it instead yeah. of me having to say it, yeah, but it's the no. truth. Yeah, and, and we believe that and that's why everything you see that we do is focused around that. Yes. Same sealed motor and sealed electronics that you saw on the rammer you see on this. This is our forward plate compactor. Okay. Okay, um, either, you know, 3,300 foot-pounds of impact force or 15 kilonewton, um, you know, 40 centimeter plate, so about 17 inch long plate. Uh, again, same controls though, right? Our wheel kit will come on it day one. Okay. We'll also include the water tank. And so water tank's really important for those that are, are, you know, are doing edges with asphalt, right? Because if you don't have water, the plate will stick, stick to the asphalt. Yep. We've also seen a lot of our site prep guys, and they're wanting to keep the dust down. Yes. They'll look like pig pen, you know? So. <laughs> yeah, it's great, man. Yeah, the other thing that we did here, though, if you notice this angle on the handle, we set it up so that way it kind of forces you to lift it a little bit okay. with your hands. Because we want you off the stops. You'll notice the giant isolators. You don't want to put the vibration into your hands. Gotcha. Right, so we, we push you to not do that. Gotcha, gotcha. Right? So not... Again, we're talking about protecting the body. Yeah. That's what we're trying to do. We push in and, and down. down. That handle will roll right forward too for storage and for lifting. Your lift spots are built in. Yeah, already all lifted in. And then if you do have to grab it by hand, yeah. up front we've got a dedicated lift spot. So it's like, hey, you, so you can use the adapter yes. on any one of the power shift tools. It's not like, oh, you can use it on this, but not that. Yes. The adapter works on all tools. Yeah. We recommend the 15 amp hour for the best experience. Sure. We know there's a ton of nines out there. But like anything else, right? The larger the gas tank, the longer anything will run. So and so, while we're here, you want you want to try to run it can, with the adapter? Can, can you show us how it, it gets put on and installed? Sure. Or? Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I think you should do it because it's that easy. So I. So wait a minute. Yeah. I, I'm all right. This is the adapter, right? The flexible battery's in here, and then we're just installing it here. Done. Okay. Now this is the part I think everybody was confused about. All right, we're going to start it like normal. That's all I had to do. Yeah. Okay, so here's here's the deal, bro. I think from the press materials that we had, we were all under the assumption that this adapter somehow fit onto that battery 
and it was just to extend the runtime no. of a pack. No, 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 it's the tool. So it's like I said, it's your get out of jail free card. Uh. Like, hey man, uh, my guys forgot to my guys forgot to charge your battery, or hey, you know what? I depleted my packs. I got like three more minutes, five more minutes, seven more minutes, whatever it is, right? To do something. Yeah. Go get one of the one of my flexible packs. Pop it in and go. So we've compacted our base. Yes. Let's go build on that base, okay? We got our garden, our feng shui garden over here, right? We raked it all out. Yeah. So. Can I make a little? If you, if, if it would make your heart happy. It will, it will, it will yeah, soothe my soul. <laughs> so we are delivering to the market a chassis. Yes. We are not delivering bars. We understand that the contractor has thousands and thousands of dollars in, in bars. bars and the ones that they like and the ones that they love. Okay. I'm not here to tell you what's the best one to use. Okay? That's awesome. And so the team, you'll notice we have on this screen right here, if he's running it, we have one of the extrusion styles. Okay. The bar over there is one of the L-shaped styles. You know, not every job's the same, and you change the bars around a lot. Yeah. So there's these little aluminum caps, these sealed caps on the end. Okay. Yeah, we patented that to capture the hard hardware, because when you have to change them out, typically you're actually going through hardware because it gets all caked up with the concrete. Sure. When you go to go take it out, you strip the threads, and now it's a problem. With ours, you don't run into that because it's sealed. You just come right through the back. Yeah. Remove the fastener, and it's a really pretty drama-free experience. That's pretty cool. Yeah. This one we have set narrow. That one we have set narrow. The other one we set up there wide. Yes. We set it up because everybody has a different shape, size, and body, and what they like and what they love. Yes. You can configure this, you know, throttle on the right, throttle on the left, narrow, wide, whatever you like, we can set up and it's easy for the operator or the user to do. It's pretty incredible. I mean, it's got more than enough power to push a 16-foot bar. Yeah. And when we talk power, you can break a cold joint with this, a fresh cold joint you can break with this screen. Okay. We're seeing like 90 plus minutes of runtime on this, on a single battery charge. That's awesome. That's continuous. That's not on, off, on, off, on, off, like you see in the cycle. That's like zip tie the throttle on and go 90 minutes without stopping, you can run this unit. This is our backpack vibrator. We also So you have two, two flavors of yeah, yeah, yeah. vibrator, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, backpack and power pack. And okay. so, I mean, here's the big thing to know, or two big things to know. 60 minutes of continuous runtime. Five pounds lighter than gas, and it will run for 30% longer than gas. So we use a high frequency brushless motor in here that spins the eccentric and that's how we go and extend this runtime and really go and put out yeah. at a high level. I mean our users today are going that our our development partners are going absolutely crazy over what we've delivered. Something unique that we're doing is this connection. It's a patented connection for us. We're gonna have heads and shafts available up to 21 feet long. And so this connection spins 360 because we know it can get really hard to manipulate them. Boom, so you get it close enough, you align it, and then you push down and you lock it and go. You'll notice that on our harness, we run high vis on any of these tools that we know are used quite often at night. Sure. We want the worker to be seen. That's good. It's absolutely critical. And so this is all high vis reflective. All power shift tools will have hidden reflectivity, it just looks like it's black. But when, you, when you're at night... But at night... But at night, these these accents will all light up because they get oh, hit even with on a the battery. I everywhere. like that. We've done it on all of them because... Yo, when we, you're rounding up at the end of the night, you're like, oh, where's that last battery? Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, you find it yeah. easier. Well, how about if I made that easier? What if I told you that all of PowerShift is fully connected? Packs and tools are all connected with integrated connectivity. That's awesome. Where's my stuff? How much of it do I have? Right, so you'll hit those two features day one. Shortly after launch, we're gonna deliver utilization. Okay. So if you're a business owner, right, you will know how often you're using that equipment. You'll notice those little black boxes on the corner. Oh, I got, yeah, I see that. Yeah, that, 
That's the DeWalt gateway. And so we're pinging. I can see how long this specific vibrator ran yesterday, how many batteries in and out, how many minutes. Right. I know everything about this tool. That is awesome. And then we have the power pack vibrator. This is the So this is the backpack, this is the, the, yep. the power pack. Yep, so anything going flat work, anything horizontal, think anything vertical, like our columns over there. Gotcha. And so, you know, all the awesome stuff that the backpack had is also in here, okay. plus one more thing, wireless tool control. So you can turn it on manually. I put it in wireless tool control mode. Now I can remotely operate the vibrator. I, I love the option. Yeah, exactly. So when we launch this, we're gonna launch four different head sizes. We'll have two and three eighths, two inch, uh, inch and three quarter, an inch and a half. And then we'll have shaft lengths available at seven foot, 10 foot, 16 foot, and 21 foot, day one. So you'll have a combination of- That's a lot of, of options, a lot of solutions. So this is our brand new six inch core drill, Vince. And this thing is awesome. Dude, I saw pictures of it at first. I'm like, wow, I think it's compact. You pull it off the stand. Yeah. You can use flexible on it. That's awesome. Right, so you did the same battery. Directly every... on, no adapter, no Dude, nothing. No, it's, I'm that is, this is it. That is awesome. Right? The core drill itself has anti-rotation technology because it's part of our Performer Protect line. You know, it's got the three-speed transmission with, come on, you gotta have, but big thing is, you know, nice oversight so you can see, hey, here's how I can get the best performance out of my product. I like that. Right? Handhelds, right, you got, you got your water connection and then this is how you adjust the water so that way you never have to take the tool out of your, awesome. out of your hand. See this? So that's the connectivity, right? That talks to this water tank. Oh, I like that. I like that. Yeah. But this thing is compact and yeah. versatile. I love looking handy, bro. This so, is great. Here's what's great about this. When you put it on the stand, Yes. or even handheld, this has the closest two wall or two ceiling clearance in the whole industry, Vince. When you put it on the stand, controls, yeah. right and left, left and right are and, all the same. Ambidextrous. Absolutely. This is all available in September. The core bits will be available in the February, March time frame. That's so nice. we'll have our own line. I love how it's marked out too, the graduations. So water tank will also be available so, in March. Nine inch cutoff saw, yes. DCS 692. This will work with that. This will work with that. So the, you know, the tens of thousands of those saws that are out in the market today, they don't need to go buy a new saw, Vince. So this is PowerShift. These are the six tools that will come, available in September. Everything will be sold as a kit, right? So it's two PowerShift packs, sure. right? And a charger. The adapter is available separately. Um, the core drill will be the only one that's a little different because you can buy it as a handheld unit. Okay. And that'll come with those 15 amp hour packs. Or you can buy it as the, uh, the um, stand configuration. It'll be the drill, stand, two packs, and the charger. So me personally, this is one that I, I've actually been in the market for. I need a new core drill. Cost-wise, can you give me a cost for those configurations? Uh, so on the, the unit on the stand will live around somewhere between 5,500 and 6,000. Okay, beautiful. Perfect, that's great stuff. Yeah. Is that, is that, all, it, is that all power shift? That, this is power shift. I want more. I guess we're gonna have to wait a little bit for the rollout. And if you want more, then smash the like button. It's free for you to do, it doesn't cost you a dime. Plus you'll get seven years of good luck. Ricky, I wanna say thank you My for having man. us in the booth and all the information. Listen, you're probably upset that the video's over like I am. I did want more. Good news is, is that we have more of the wall coming up right after this. You're gonna love it.